So starting off, when I'm first about to apply eyeliner, I look at my face, I look at my surface, even when looking, uh, doing it on other people especially, and I just get them to relax their face and look straight. And this really allows you to look at the surface that you have to play with when you're applying your eyeliner. Now everybody has different shapes and sizes of eyes, so this is why this trick will come in handy. So let's talk about flicks. So when we're doing eyeliner flicks and we want that nice cat, cat eye. So one note, a knowledge piece for you guys, if you didn't know, is if the longer you put your eyeliner flick out to this area of your eye, um, the more narrow and wide your eyes are gonna look. So you're gonna get like this accentuated, this area of the eye. If you carry your eyeliner all the way up to the top of your eye, it's going to give you more of like a doughy eyed. Starting off, one thing I tell people who are just starting in the eyeliner world, they're super nervous, nervous, they're like, I can't get it. I try, and it's always a hot mess. Here's a trick for you. Get an angle brush. I have this little guy, right? Use your eyeshadow. Now don't be scared because it's just eyeshadow, so if you muck it up, it's no problem. We could just wipe it off. Um, and one guide for you before we continue. Your eyeliner flick should be, so you can do two things. You could go from the edge of your nose up to the corner of your eye to your eyebrow. This is where your flick should be, right in this area here. And or you can just continue your own lash line and continue the line up. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna dip it in my eyeshadow. And I have another mirror here beside me in case this is not working. So there we go, we're going to. And some people just do this with eyeshadow and they call it a day. Okay, so there's my bottom eyeliner flick. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to now join this. I'm going for a dramatic eyeliner look today. There we go. So it's not as precise but when I use the eyeliner, the liquid, it will be. Okay, so for myself, I tend to not do a full eye of eyeliner. I usually go till about there. How is that looking? So you see what I mean? Oh, I can't get too close, sorry about that. See what I mean when you can use the eyeshadow and it really, if you need to practice, this is the way to practice. Um, and you're really gonna see the shape that you want to create. Another thing to mention is you notice that I started from the outside and worked my way in. So I'm not quite sure why people start at the inside and work their way out because you want to base your eyeliner based on the flick. So if you start on the inside and work your way out and you muck up in here, then this is going to be a hot mess. So my advice to you is to start from the outside and work your way in. Also, when you're applying stuff, if you could see when I was using the brush, I'm anchoring my pinky on my face, or you're going to anchor your elbow on a table. And that way, it's creating a sturdy hand for you to create your eyeliner flick. Make sense? All right, so now I'm going to go over my eyeshadow with my liquid eyeliner. This liquid eyeliner is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It's got a really tiny tip, which I absolutely love. And now you have a guide. So you're going to just go over and do not fear. I'm gonna show you why in a sec. I'm gonna muck up on purpose. Like right there, I just mucked up. And I'm gonna show you why. So I'm going to fill all of this in. Oh 
all the way up until where I wanted it to go. Okay, so as you can see, I mucked up on the top. Can you see that? So one other thing that will ease your mind when you're doing this is you're going to get your eye makeup remover. I use Bioderma, I love it. And you're gonna get a flat brush like this if you have one, okay? You're gonna add some makeup remover to your brush. And then, my friends, you are going to clean up the mess that you may have made and make your flick super duper on point. Remember to type any questions that you have. I'd be happy to answer them. And subscribe. Subscribe now. More tips to come. Thanks so much. One last thing I forgot to mention that's really important is when you're applying your eyeliner, do not stretch your eye out in any weird way to apply your eyeliner. That's gonna change the shape of your eye and then when you look at your finished product, it's gonna look completely different than how it looked when you stretched your eye out.